everyone, welcome back to this Honor the Knife of Dunwell DLC. Uh, so we gotta make our way all the way down again. Open it from this side, I see. That's the problem. He was coming. That might be worth checking out. Heard that though. One impressive guy. Young Prince of Tivia, I think we've read that already. Oh, no, we haven't. Excerpt from a theater play. Lord Nathan Bale shaking with outrage. How dare you, sir, clothed so in my very home. I should hand you over to the watch, depraved Tivian. Oh, God. <laughs> it's this story again. <laughs> Prince Kalisar are moving closer. That's a harsh welcome for royalty, my lord. Your daughter treated me with much more hospitality. Alas, she has gone out for the evening, leaving me all alone. <laughs> Lord Nathan Bale stammering, studying the younger man before him. What are you doing? Leave this house! Go back to your frozen wastelands, pill rascal! Prince Kalisar smiling coyly, reaching out. No need for anger between us, Lord Bale. Is it so wrong for me to be here? As I've proven, I develop an affinity for you and your family. I swear we've read this already. Lord Nathan Bale gasping. Oh my, Kalisar, your skin is so warm, it burns. <laughs> Woo! Um, let's see. We have some stuff to steal here. Got everyone on this floor. We have one more floor to go.
outside? Where is he walking around? No to Gerwin, I understand your concern about security, but I trust in the security of a key hanging from my own belt, not a combination lock. A combination lock can be guessed, cracked or bribed, but with a simple lock and key, the contents of my archives remain safe. As for lockpicks, a fable. I've never known such a thing to truly exist. Have you? Bonded Galvani Weave. Okay. Note from a lawyer. A. When are we going to get a secretary? I can never find any of the documents filled by J and S. Uh, J. And S doesn't seem to file anything. This place is turning into a vortex of disorganization. So big you could write a will into it. Okay. Outside. Outside. All of these rooms. Oh. Did you look at that? Ooh, draw a random tarot card. Yeah, absolutely. You draw cruelty! Oh god. <laughs> That's not good. Do another one. The two of rats. I've never done tarot cards before in my life, guys. I don't know what any of it means. But I do have a feeling cruelty isn't that good. Hi on the Lamp House. Lyrics to a song sung in Morley. Hi on the Lamp House in my thick woolen night coat. Your scarf draped over my throat. I stand watch at the rail. Watching the wheel boats. Wrapped as your words float. Your lovely palaver? Uh, yeah. That's a nice song. We're high on the Lamp House. We're high on the Lamp House. We're high on the Lamp House. Are they now? <laughs> I wonder what kind of high. <laughs> That's... This is the last room that we haven't been to yet. And then... Down again? How do we get down again? Oh, from this door, I think. There you go. That woman just ran off and she never came back. <laughs> Smart woman, because I was definitely about to kill her, so good on her. Need to switch it out. Place the second set air circulars in the basement of teams to sit. Oh, I guess I just need to do that now. There we go. Okay. Not in fear of teams to be arrested by General Turnbill. Kind of missed that though. I think we need to leave here. That doesn't look great. Are we not going to be able to see the arrest? Barris of Tim's just- <laughs> Barris of Tim's just making up! <laughs> Tim's just running away! <laughs> oh, Tim's! Don't do it! I think they got him. I think they got him. That's a shame that we couldn't see that. Oh, 
I need to go to the waterfront district. Oh, the coach. What can we do with the coach? Criminal action in progress. Witnesses must report to the city watch at once or be prosecuted. Any citizens belonging to or I want to see the arrest, but they're not doing anything. He's just standing still somewhere. Ah, oh, there they're going. I can barely breathe. Oh, uh, General Turnbull. Yes, I was expecting you. Uh, please come. Ah, Timpsh. It smells like a weeper den. I thought we were secure. And we are. The neighborhood is swept three times a week. Barrister Timpsh. Please, call me Arnold. We're friends. Here, this will clear things up for you. The Regents arranged it. By the way, I don't think I ever got your first name. What is this? Is this a joke? I am not sure what you find funny about it. Barrister Timpsh, this is a letter from the Lord Regent dated a month ago, stating that your building is to be seized by the state <laughs> due to massive infection outbreak, and that your personal assets are forfeit if you do not comply immediately. A month ago? <laughs> are you showing me this to try to... Convince me that you're above the law? What? Let me see that. This... This is impossible. I, I, Barrister, <laughs> I am afraid I am going to have to take you into custody. And if I or any of my men contract the plague because of this visit, I'll see that your head rolls. No, no, no. This isn't the right document. This... Get him out of here before <laughs> he starts bleeding from the eyes. And secure this court. It's under quarantine. Yes, sir. Nice. Now what? <laughs> he fainted. I don't want to touch him. I'll just wait for him to wake up. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Okay, it's time to escape. However, I don't think we got hold of the. I think we're missing. Oh god. One rune and one. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. Still looking for me. <laughs> An escape unnoticed. I'll admit, I didn't think the arrest was going to work. I guess that's why you're calling the shots. Look at him just laying around there. <laughs> Poor guy. Done anything there as well. Spread out. There's been word of a ruckus. No details yet. Fire tools. All the way out. Anyway.
made it! Now let's see, maybe we're missing some over here? Oh wait, no, there's one there. Did miss one here. The air to the throne. Emily Caldwin is still missing. Any person with information that leads to her discovery will be granted a substantial reward. Stupid Granny's recipe. Page turn from old manuscript written in a scrawling hand. Cruel Nanny, take the world from her greedy hands. Lay before the black eyed groom. groom. Cut sharp, cut deep, red drip, drop. Last and least, burn it in the heart of a lawless man. Do this for me, dear, and I'll give you a birthday treat. Granny. Well, from the 78, draw the world. Oh my god, we need to go back again? Break. That's all the way back again. Ugh. How do we miss this? The Retro Chamber of Commerce. Have we read this already? No. Eyes are from a book covering the various districts across Don Juan and their histories. Once the financial heart of the empire, the Rutger Financial District was a hive of trade activity. No district employed more barristers, accountants, or indeed more security, and no part of Dunwall saw a greater flow of coin. When the flood barrister broke and the waters rolled in, the looting that followed was occupied, accompanied by an epic period of chaos and butchery. Those who could withdraw and move their assets did what they could. Others, with their wealth tied up in grand mansions and artwork, lost it all. When the last of the high society, uh, society set had withdrawn and the lights went dark, Rudshaw was a gloomy, crumbling shell of what it had been, inhabited by thieves, wild dogs and rats. Once great palaces of commerce sat empty and haunted, or came to house killers and mercenaries, as well as anyone who looking, anyone else looking to hide from the city watch. In mere months, the flooded district was settled upon as the most proper name for the place. Well, that sucks. Travel to Indicia, we read this? No. These are from a travel chronicle by Anton Sokolov. The men I set out with are good sailors. No doubt half of them have cut their teeth on the rascally pirate ships pawned in the Circononan archipelago. Or they were, I should say. Half of them died before we sighted the broken red cliffs welcoming those who would visit the far continent as it is called. Sickness, infighting, poisoned by a school or one would say a flock of small fish that fly over the waves like birds, landing in the hundreds across the deck, pricking on any they touch with toxic quills, two thrown overboard by gusting demon winds, the quiet Tivian navigator simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyes white with terror. Few have crossed the ocean and the distance to Pandizia is greater than most would imagine. More died climbing the cliffs, and now with a handful, about a handful, I stand looking across the greatest expanse of land that exists. My allies are frightened, for this is beyond them, and now their captain is dead too, stung by something that resembled a prairie mole, but reacted with great apocalyptic outrage when handled, so it falls on me to lead them. Hmm. He has really gone through a lot in life, I guess. I didn't see the bone charm that we picked up. Tough skin, probably. Your max health has been slightly increased. Hmm. Be able to put in there. Let's see. Optional. Draw to 78. Draw... From the 78, draw the worlds. Yeah. Hmm. I think we should do that, though. It would be nice to have all of the granny stuff done. I already failed with the previous granny thing. This area is under lockdown. Any unauthorized individuals are to be considered well, let's make our suspicious way there. and confronted immediately. And then there is another uh, rune I think we're missing as well.
Yep, we have. on which floor it was. It doesn't tell us. Surprise, there's still people alive in here. I wonder where they came from. I really thought I had gotten everyone, to be honest. Oh, it's the Vens, probably. One floor up, maybe? Must be on this floor then. Was this floor? I'm pretty sure it was. Read this book. The Academy of Natural Philosophy, extra from overview of the Academy. Squatting at the edge of Dunwall, the Academy of Natural Philosophy is an ancient educational institute, bustling with young students and old philosophers, alchemists, cosmologists, uh, and vivisectionists. The best minds from across the Isles gather here to study all of nature, including the human corpus, the celestial havens, and the physical universe. No one is allowed inside except 
esteemed members and a few students accepted each year after a long and arduous application process. Those living nearby can only puzzle at the exotic shipments seen coming from the river and passing through the back doors, or wrinkle their noses at the odd smells that emerge from the smokestacks atop. Royal physician Anton Sokolov is currently head of the academy. Got it. Now what do we do? Lay a tarot card the world of defeat of the one with the eyes black as the void. There is a painting here somewhere, right? A pretty Later card at the world uh the world at the feet of the one with the eyes of the blackest void. I mean I'm talking about the one guy, right? Forgot his name. The outsider. There we go. Are they talking about the outsider? I mean he has black eyes. I don't know if there's a painting of him somewhere. Those are quite difficult. Way more difficult than in the first game, for sure. He's white eyes, not black eyes. Thought maybe here? No. black eyes I guess. Okay, I don't think it's gonna be in this building. But I have no clue where it is then though. I don't really see a clue anywhere. Get of the one with the eyes of blackest void. Maybe it's in the same building as we came from? Then I'm gonna have a hard time finding that building back, I think. Eric. 
could it be? Where could it be? Let's see. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Outsider is the whole shrine area. That's the last hope I had of still figuring this out. I have no clue where to put this thing. Really no clue. Okay. Guess we gotta leave then. I'll keep my eyes open on the way back, but... I don't think I'm gonna find it. I don't think they literally mean the outsider. substantial reward I don't feel like I've seen the outsider anywhere I might be off with the thinking it should be the outsider but it makes sense right because that's the guy that always has the black eyes ahead. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I don't know. The barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as agreed. That'll do nicely. Perhaps better. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter and artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. Maybe she was one of the sisters My of... uncle became infatuated. That you? But he looked older and made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor. Painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. Oh, okay. That's all I know. No luck. I hope pieces. you find what you're looking for. Exit through the sewers. Hello, Billy. Temp is ruined. He'll rot in Cold Ridge Prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's. Poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dowd. Oh, stop it, Billy. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yes, I'm ready to go. Guys, this is where we're going to be ending the episode for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.